The classical mythology answer is that you can't just cut off a hydra's head. This goes, this goes all, all the way back to the, the Herculean myths. And so the answer is that you cut off the head, but that's not the, 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 fir- the only thing you do. You take a torch and you put it over the wound so you seal up where the, the head would grow back. And, and that is something that we see very often, you know, going back to our previous conversation about business, um, there's a step called consolidation. So this is an idea and I talk about in the personal MBA um, called the sustainable growth cycle, where we have any healthy person or healthy business goes through these cycles. And, and, it's, and the cycle is you have a growth step, right? You're, you're pushing towards the thing that you want. You're preparing to take that next step. There's a lot of energy that goes into growth. Then you have a, a point where you are actively taking advantage of the opportunities you've created. And then there is a, a consolidation step or a maintenance step. You, um, you lock in the gains that you have created. You take a step back, you reevaluate. And then, and only then, once you've locked in those gains, you go back to the beginning and the growth cycle starts again. And so in the, in the Hydra uh, analogy, you you prepare, you take advantage, you make some progress, and then you consolidate your progress, and then you retreat and recover and and re- recoup some energy so you can go back and continue the cycle again. And so a lot of these very ambitious projects, the primary attribute that determines success or failure, like, like we talked about the other day, mm-hmm. is persistence. It's deciding you, you're you going to do something, it's valuable to you, and you're going to last as long as it takes to get the things done, even if there are setbacks, even if there are um, things that you didn't expect, environmental circumstances that you need to deal with. You know going into those, you don't know which ones are going to show up, but you do know that some of them are going to show up. So there's a certain amount of also going back to our conversation of first 20 hours. There's a pre-commitment that happens. This is something I want to do. I am going to commit to the process of getting this result. And then it becomes a matter of persistence, doing it over and over and over again, making some progress, consolidating uh, your results, and then doing it over and over again. That makes a lot of sense, especially the persistence part. (laughs) Um, It it uh, works. uh, a hundred percent it does. Like for me, I've seen it, like I've lived it yeah. and I know how powerful persistence actually is, which is why I, I talk about it so often and I'm writing two books about it is because persistence is so important. Like it gets you to places you never thought was possible, but you have to have that mindset of, okay, in order for me to overcome this fear right now that I have, that I am it can be anything, fear of not being good enough, fear of going into business. I know for me, it was a fear of actually uh, starting something and thinking I was going to fail at it. You know, mm-hmm. but failure is not a bad thing if you decide to look at it from a very different point of view. You've got to look at, first off, you've got to be persistent at looking at things from a very different point of view than what you were originally think in the first place. You've got to yeah. be persistent at working towards overcoming the fear every single day. It, like change is going to happen regardless of whether we want it to or not. Like it's all, it's going to be inevitable. Same with pain. Like I know with, I think, I think your analogy is spot on the, the fighting of the Hydra. Like you feel like you're being surrounded by this massive evil and beast that you feel like you can't face up to it. Yeah. And I think uh, Hercules, he didn't give up, did he? As yeah. the goes, he found himself a way. Hercules is the persistence. Why don't you become persistent in your life and see what's going to happen? Like guaranteed, you will be able to beat, for the sake of a better analogy, the Hydra in your life, whatever it is. So, yeah, and good, I think a lot of people, a lot of people forget that there was a point in the Hercules story where it looks like he's going to lose. Like he hadn't figured out the consolidation step. He got a little bit of help with that from a mentor. And so, yeah, when when you're walking into a big, scary, complex project where you don't have everything figured out, 
there's there's a certain amount of exploration and experimentation that has to happen. It's part of the process. You are not going to know everything you need to do in order to succeed. 